All right, in this video, we're going to do an example of finding some zeros of a polynomial. And in this case, we're going to be given a little bit of information. So suppose we have this, this polynomial, x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 37x squared minus 60x plus 36. And suppose we know that we, we've, we've got two zeros. We've got um, x equals 2 is a 0, and also x equals 3 is a 0. And we want to find if the other zeros, if there are any, and their multiplicity. So I'm going to use this first bit of information that x equals 2 is a 0. Since x equals 2 is a 0, that means that x minus 2 is a factor. And that means if we do long division with x minus 2, if we divide our polynomial f of x by x minus 2, um, we'll, we'll find the other factor. And instead of doing all that long division, I'm going to use synthetic division. So I'm going to put my 2 outside and then just drop down my coefficients. Okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> so we drop our 1 down. 2 times 1 is 2. We add. That'll give us negative 8. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. Um, negative 16 and 37. Well, so if we add those equivalently 37 minus 16, that would just be 21. 2 times 21 is 42. Again, if we add, that's going to give us negative 18. And 2 times negative 18 is negative 36, which leaves us with a remainder of 0, which, which is good. If we didn't get a remainder of 0, it says either we've done some arithmetic wrong or it says we were mistaken in thinking that x equals 2 is a factor. We started with x to the fourth. This will be our x cubed term, our x squared term, our x term, and our constant. So what it says is, it says we can write that original polynomial, x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 37x squared minus 60x plus 36. It says I can write that as the factor x minus 2 times all this stuff we just found. So x cubed uh, minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 18. Okay, so now I'm going to use this extra bit of information that um, x equals 3 is also a factor. So what that means is it says if I divide x cubed minus 8x squared plus 12x minus 18, if I divide that by x minus 3, again, that's going to help me factor, factor my polynomial a little further. Okay, so... I'm going to do synthetic division again, this time using 3. And now I'm using this, this new polynomial so I can factor it a little further. Because again, I know 3 has to be a factor of it. So 1, negative 8, positive 21, negative 18. So I'm going to drop the 1 down. 3 times 1 is 3. If we add those, we'll get negative 5. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. If we add those, we'll get positive 6. 3 times 6 is 18, so we get our remainder of 0. Since we started with something cubed, this will now be our x squared term, our x term, and our constant. So it says this x minus 2 times x cubed minus 8x squared plus 21x minus 18. It says that really we can write that as x minus 2. We said that if we divide that by x minus 3, another one of our factors, we'll be left with x squared minus 5x plus 6. So now we've almost got this very original kind of complicated looking polynomial. We've almost got it factored out. Well, I recognize this last factor as being a quadratic factor, so hopefully we can just kind of play with numbers. So I think if we use, um, how about x minus 2 and x minus 3? Um, if we multiply, we'll get positive 6. If we add, we get negative 5. So I can really write this Notice we've got an x minus 2 and an x minus 2. I can write that as x minus 2 squared. We've got x minus 3 and x minus 3. I can write that as x minus 3 squared. Whew. Okay, so now we've done the hard part, which is factor it. And to find the zeros, we simply set each factor equal to 0. Um, and if we set the, uh, the x minus 2 factor equal to 0, we'll get a 0 of x equals 2. Again, whatever the exponent is, that's the multiplicity. Um, and in this case, it doesn't really matter, but let's go ahead and state it. So we could say that this has a multiplicity of 2. 
Likewise, the other 0, if we set x minus 3 um, equal to 0, we'll get x equals 3 as our other 0. And again, this would also have a multiplicity of 2. So we've actually found the only real zeros. It's 2 and 3, uh, again, each with multiplicity of 2.